Hi, I'm Alison Bornstein and I'm a stylist. I believe that fashion can be used as a wellness tool. So I feel like by now you know what I wear all the time because you saw my closet regulars video and you know like the pieces that are sort of in my rotation from my edits IRL and my IGTV. So I feel like you know who I saw, you know what's in my closet, you know what I'm wearing all the time, you know it's like in a heavy rotation. But I feel like what you don't know are the things that I don't wear very often or the things that I don't know how to wear, which I call my hows. So to really understand what I mean by hows, you should watch my closet editing system video on Violette's YouTube, but I'll just quickly explain. So in the system, step one is to pull out your regulars, which was the first video that I did, which means everything that you wear all the time. Maybe not like your most fashionable items or your favorite items, they're just, it's what you reach for all the time. That's the first step and that was the first video, my regulars. So step two is to identify your nevers. And those are the things that you never wear. So those are the things that don't fit, that you need to bring to the tailor because they're damaged, that you just don't like, or that you love, but you don't know how to wear. So within the nevers, we break them down into three sections. Section one is no. That means those are the things that you just, you don't like, they don't fit, you don't want them. Those are the things that you donate or you sell. The second category is not now. Those are the things that are maybe out of season, that you don't really want to part with, but you just don't want to wear, you don't want to see in your closet. Those are the not nows. And then the third section are the hows. These are the things that you love, but that you never wear just because you kind of can't figure it out. That's what we're going to focus on right now. We are going to focus on my hows. So I often talk about sort of having a minimal closet and, you know, being really smart when you're shopping and buying things, but not only am I human, I'm also a lover of fashion. So I also buy things or I'll get really excited and, you know, see something on somebody else and I'll buy it for myself and then realize I don't really know how to wear this or this doesn't really go with my vibe or, you know, I, I don't really know what, why I did that. But I feel like I'm very committed to making these pieces work. So let's go through them and I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna go through four of my hows and we're gonna style them. So that is another step of my closet editing system. In order to incorporate the things that you don't know how to wear into your everyday wardrobe, it's smart to pair them with things that you wear all the time. Okay, so I'm gonna show you my four hows. How number one is a sparkly vintage cardigan. It's really, really sparkly. It's a little longer. It's very cute and I love it very much. I think I've had it since probably like 10 years and I wear it every once in a while, but I would like to figure out a way to kind of incorporate this into my everyday wardrobe. So this is the first one. What I like about it is that it's a cardigan and that it's black. Those are two things that I like and that sort of drew me to it. But the thing that's hard for me is it feels a little loud and also it feels, I don't know, it just like doesn't feel as easy breezy as I sometimes like to feel. So I want to figure out how to make this work for an everyday look. So a lot of times when I'm working with clients and they have something that's either a lot of print or a lot of sparkle, I say, why don't we try this as a layering item? So I'm going to try this with my white t-shirt, which is one of my regulars I wear all the time. I feel really comfortable in it. And my favorite blazer that you also maybe recognize from my regulars. And then just do that with jeans. So it's like a little bit of sparkle popping out. I feel like this will help sort of tone it down a little bit. And since I'm wearing three of my regulars, so three of the things that I wear all the time and feel super comfortable in, I feel like it'll work. So let me try that one. Okay, so here it is. So I have the sweater on with just the white t-shirt. Let's see, sparkle, sparkle. And then I'm gonna put this blazer over, which it doesn't necessarily cover it up, but I feel like it makes the sparkles just like a little bit more of a surprise. So like if I'm doing this, it's like you see a bit of the sequin, but it's not so overwhelming and overpowering. And I really like that. It's just like it adds a little touch of something. It almost makes it like it's part of the blazer, which I like. I'm also noticing with this sparkle, because the knit is so wide like this, when it's with white, it looks a little bit funky. I mean, I like it in this situation because I feel like it adds like a little something. And if it was all black, it would be, I think, just like a little bit too boring. So I do like it with the white, but I feel like if I was gonna wear it on my own, I would do it with something black. So next I'm gonna try it with my black ribbed tank from Another Tomorrow that is from my Summer Essentials. So I'm gonna do the ribbed tank underneath and then just this over, but keep the jeans and keep just like the simple Chanel shoes, which are regulars. And here's this version. So I like that it's a little bit more subtle because you can't see the white through it because it's black. And I still, I have it with my like baggier 90s jeans. I have it with these 
like Chanel flats that I feel again really comfortable in and I feel like feel like me so then when I add this sparkly sweater I feel like it's just kind of it's like it's the one element that feels a little bit funky but because everything else is really subtle and really me and true to my style then I feel like it all kind of goes together so that's this version now one more thing is that this is this mealy blouse that I wore in my last video. I feel like this could be really cute under it too. So I'm gonna try that really quickly with the same jeans, same shoes, everything. Okay, so here it is with that mealy blouse that I wear a lot. And I actually, I really like the balance of this. I feel like it has the nice ruffly sort of, you know, frilly part and then the more rock and roll, at least to me. And again, the blacks, it just, it feels more like texture than it feels like sparkle. I also just wanna point out, I'm not trying to make like really funky, crazy looks. I'm trying to make looks that I would genuinely wear and I would genuinely wear this. So now that I know that this cardigan works with like a more, a wide leg jean and, you know, like a little block heel and a blouse, I can sort of apply that to other things. So for example, my polka dot blouse, I would try that underneath this. So it's just like, it's practicing and then sort of training your brain to apply it to other pieces that you have. So I also just wanted to try one last look because I like it with the denim and I like it with blue. And I was thinking maybe if I did the Mariner striped shirt underneath, it would feel like kind of rock and roll 90s, sort of inspired by my jeans, but then still the cardigan and the, the more ladylike shoe will make it feel like me. So I'm gonna try this one as the last one. Hey, what do we think of this one? I kind of like it actually. I wasn't sure as I was putting it on, I was like, oh, it's the white's gonna show through, but I think because it has the stripes, it sort of creates a little bit of distraction. I actually think it looks cute. I feel like it's very like, I don't know, it's kind of just like a, a 90s look with like a little bit of glam. So there we go. This was my first how, the sparkly cardigan, and I kind of think we figured it out. I think we figured out that it looks good underneath a blazer. I think we like it with the stripes. And I think that if we're gonna do a blouse underneath, it should be like a dark color, maybe something with like a tie neck or a frill, something to make it feel like a little bit more soft. So that's how number one, check, we did it. How number two is this leather zebra print skirt. Now, the reason that I bought it is because I love leather. I love animal print and I like short silhouettes. So this seems like this would be like a real win. However, I just like don't find myself reaching for it. I mean, I understand that it's more of like a novelty item. It's not something you wear every day, but I'd like to try to figure out ways to wear it. It's interesting because I wear my leather shorts a lot, the shorts that I was wearing in the beginning. And so I feel like I can sort of think of the ways that I like to wear my leather shorts and apply it to this skirt, if that makes sense. So for example, the look I was wearing when we started the video, which was the white shirt, the blazer, little shoes, and then the leather shorts. I'm just gonna replace the leather shorts with this skirt and see how that looks. So here it is. I just kind of wanna explain what I did here. So because my leather shorts are regulars, I tried to think of ways that I wear my leather shorts and apply it to this skirt. So for example, I was wearing the leather shorts with this look. I was actually wearing a pinstripe blazer, but I changed to a black blazer because I liked the black and white. And I actually think it's kind of cute. I even like the white Mary Jane style shoes because I think that sometimes tight mini zebra leather skirt can feel maybe like a little bit too like party going out. I don't know, just to me, it can feel like a little bit like nighttime. So I think adding these Mary Janes gives it like a little bit of sweetness and I feel like I would definitely wear this one. And then I was thinking, what other ways do I wear my leather shorts? And another way that I wear them all the time is with a white t-shirt and just a denim button-up shirt. So let's try that with the skirt and then maybe I'll change to black shoes. Okay, so here it is with the denim shirt. I'm still wearing the same white t-shirt and I just exchanged the white shoes for these black shoes. And the reason I did that is because I just kind of wanted to tie in the black of the skirt. If I had the white shoes on, it just felt like white shoes, white in the skirt, white top, and then the black of the skirt and the blue of the shirt just felt like a little random, I guess. So I like the idea of having the black shoes because like ties in the black of the skirt. So it's like two things of black, two things of white, and one pop of blue. I'm crazy. That's just how my brain works, but that's why I chose that. I like this. I feel like this is really casual. I actually definitely know that I would wear this. And now I'm thinking, what if we put the blazer over just kind of the same way that we did with a sparkle sweater, that we can just have like a little pop of color, a little pop of sparkle. So this is just gonna give it a little pop of denim. So it's basically the same look as the first one, 
I just love the way it looks. I have that one extra layer with a blazer and a t-shirt. I'm such a blazer and a t-shirt wearer that I feel like sometimes I need like the one other element to like mix it up so it feels a little bit more interesting. So to put this denim shirt underneath and then the blazer over, it just gives that pop. To me, it looks both effortless and styled, which I think are two things that women really want to be. They really want to look like they didn't try, but they also want to look like there's some intention, like they put, you know, put some thought into what they're wearing. So there we go. Love it. So I was thinking about the reason I like the Mary Janes. And like I said, the reason I like them with that skirt is because I think it adds like a little sweetness and almost like a little um, like girliness to the, the skirt that feels just like a little bit more sexy and kind of wild. So I was thinking what are other ways that I can kind of infuse that like girly but like still really like sweet and simple. So I was thinking maybe we'll try this with just like a simple black cardigan. So I put on the black cardigan, I put nothing underneath, and I tucked it in, and I feel like this is cute. It's like a little bit more of like a sexier look, but I enjoy it. And then I also think it would be cute if we did like a little, if we unbuttoned a little bit and made it like this, the Chanel shoes. I feel like it, it's kind of like a mix between like sexy 80s and then just like really simple. And again, because I wear my Chanel shoes all the time, because I wear this cardigan all the time, this skirt feels more like me. Let's just put this blazer on, which I think also looks good. In summary is that I like it with a more boxy sort of silhouette on top, like the, the bigger blazer or I like with the t-shirt. I like it with something just like a little bit more casual. So thinking about this big blazer, I also have a tweed jacket that I think I could do with it. I think I could do the denim jacket with it because I like it with the denim shirt. I think I could even do like a military jacket. I think the key for me with this skirt is to keep the thing on top a little bit more casual or a little bit more boxy. So that's this skirt. Now, let me introduce you to my third hat, which are these amazing pants, pants that I wore for a shoot for The Real Real in March, and I wore them for the shoot, and I was like, okay, I need to buy these. So that's like a classic example of like, I liked the way I looked in them, I liked the way like I styled them for the picture, but they don't necessarily translate to my own closet and things that I wear in my everyday life, but we are gonna make them translate. So let's think about how I can wear these. First of all, they're black and white, so that makes it easier, and I feel like I can sort of apply some of the things that I learned about this skirt to these pants. Also, I wear bell-bottom jeans all the time, so I think that I can figure out what I like to wear with my bell-bottom jeans and apply them here. And then lastly, I can think about my floral edit, and I can think how are some ways to make florals feel less girly. So one of my favorite things to wear with my flare jeans is, again, this Neely Lotin like ruffly top. So I'm gonna try this. I feel like this could look cute, and I think the proportions will be nice. Let's try. Okay, this seems like a very obvious outfit because I wear this top all the time, but for some reason I didn't think about it. I kept trying to do this with a t-shirt. For some reason it just really wasn't working, but this works to me. I feel like it feels, it has like that kind of 70s feeling that I like. The pants are a teeny tiny bit long, but I kind of like that. I sort of like when the pant breaks at the bottom. I'm into that sort of style now. And I think that when pants are really long, it makes your lips look really long. When I wore these pants in the shoot, I did it with a t-shirt and a white blazer. And I really liked that. And that's why I think I kept trying to kind of recreate that. But I feel like maybe what if we do a black blazer because we have all the elements of black. Really love it. So in applying this formula to other looks, I would say these pants would also look good with just like a black silky button up or a black tie neck blouse or even like a black sweater. It's just a simple black sweater. So I like this a lot. I feel like the black simple cashmere crew neck sweater makes the pants feel really easy. It just, it makes it feel like a little bit more simple and basic, which is kind of what I'm looking for. I like it with these Chanel shoes, but I think add like a little bit of toughness to the floral print. I'm going to try with the black ankle boots. This is with the black ankle boots. I like this too. I feel like it, the black ankle boots add some toughness and I really enjoy that. So I think this is another look. It's a great winter one. I would do this with like a black overcoat with maybe a blazer again. I don't know, like any jacket. I feel like it just sort of really like neutralizes like the kind of funkiness of the print. So I love this because I love this sweater. I know that the black cardigan will work, but what if I do the white t-shirt and the black cardigan? Like I was saying before, the white t-shirt wasn't really working with these pants, but maybe if we add the black cardigan over, it adds that toughness, that black, like that dark element that was kind of missing. So let's try that. Okay, so here it is with the white t-shirt and the black cardigan. I 
I really like this look. I feel like it feels easy. I was saying before that for some reason the white t-shirt was not working on its own. I normally like the mixture of different whites, but for some reason it just like felt too stark. So I like adding the white t-shirt and then putting the black cardigan over and then with the black boots and then the black print, I feel like it kind of, it all works together and this works. And then of course, I think that it would also look great with just the cardigan buttoned up and no t-shirt underneath. Then I was thinking, what we realized in the first look is we like the black top with it. So I was thinking maybe I would try it with that black tank top and then the cardigan over, just one more quick look. So I put the knit tank from another tomorrow underneath and then I just put the cardigan over. I changed back to the Chanel shoes cause I just, I kind of like the proportion with this. And I think this works as well. I also might add a blazer. I feel like I say add a blazer literally one million times a day, but I would, I'd add a blazer again, sort of all the different blacks are working well. We got the black shoes. It makes the pants pop but not in a way that it feels like too much it just like it kind of it makes it feel a little bit more subtle somehow so that's this one now for our very last hat this last item is a cotton skirt it's white and the reason that i got it and the reason that i wanted it is because i felt like it could be a good summer version of the slip skirt which i still wear the slip skirt in the summer but i just thought maybe something cotton could be nice and so i got this for some reason i'm not grabbing for it all the time and i want to figure out a way to wear it so I think first things first, I'm thinking about the way that I wear my slip skirts and I think I'm gonna try it with this knit tank. Okay, so here's this. See, I love the way the skirt wraps. I like that it has like a little peekaboo kind of thing when you walk. And I kept kind of trying to make like an all white look, but then I was thinking to myself, like how would I style this if it was a slip skirt? So I tried it with this black knit tank and I did these little repetto shoes, which I like. I think this really works. I also think that we could do a blazer over to kind of balance like the sweetness of it. Ugh, I really like this actually. I like this a lot. And this is actually making me think. You're watching me think as we go. I could do this as a more wintry look and I could do it with my high boots. I could do it with the cashmere sweater and then we can do it like with and without the blazer. So let's try that. Here's this. I actually love this. I don't know why I did not think of doing this and I'm not sure like how, I think I was thinking of it as like a very summery light item because that's the reason that I got it. But I'm realizing this would be so cute with these boots and then please hold. This blazer, like I feel like it's very unexpected. So cute, so easy. I'm actually so happy I thought of this. So I love this. Could we try it with the white t-shirt and the white repettos? Maybe just to make it an all white look. I don't know. Let's try. I actually kind of think this works too. It's like a little bit unexpected, but really cute. Again, I was doing it with like sandals, I was doing it with a t-shirt. I sort of think this works. It makes it sweet, it makes it fun. I'm very much into this. So as you can see, these looks that I'm making, they're so simple, they are so easy. I'm using my regular, I really only have a few things that I'm mixing with it. But, so I'm not trying to like blow your mind with these like amazing fashion looks. What I'm trying to show you is that like, you can take the things that you wear all the time and help style the things that you might not know how to wear or things that you're less comfortable wearing. And this is actually kind of what I do in my FaceTime sessions all the time. I have women show me what they wear all the time and things that they love but they don't know how to style. And we kind of mix the two so then the things that they love and don't know how to style become the things that they wear all the time. I really hope you enjoyed this. This was really fun and now I really feel like I have a bunch of new looks with my house. I'm so excited and I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching. When we look good, we feel good, and when we feel good, we can take on the world.